This past week I was working on a new book that I'm currently writing. I was focusing on a chapter that I'd entitled Lessons About People. Now you know and I know it's a common fact that there are people that bruise your life and there are people that bless your life. Isn't that true? I know you can think about people right now. So here's a question for us in our Time in the Word broadcast. Which type of person are you? Now on today's broadcast, I want to focus on the subject, now watch this, friends that refresh our lives. Now I use the word refresh because it's a biblical word. The Apostle Paul used this word as he wrote to a young preacher by the name of Timothy, and as he described what a friend did in his life. Here is the verse from Scripture, 2 Timothy 1 and 16, and I quote, May the Lord grant mercy to the house of Onesimus, for he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chains. I hope that you honed in on that word refresh. The word refresh can be translated as revive, encourage, or cheer up. Now, in those days, there was a friend to Paul who was simply, a, listen to this, oh, this is wonderful, a breath of fresh air in his life. The fact truly gripped me as I worked through the subject of friends that refresh. I want to ask you this. Would you like to have friends who would be a breath of fresh air into your life? Truly, no one would say no to such a question. But there is a harder question, a, a follow-up question. Here it is. Are you a breath of fresh air for others? You see, I find that people just sign up so easily because they want to receive friends. But not so many sign up on the other side to be such a friend. But here's the hidden blessing. I believe it with all my heart. When you are such a friend, God rewards you with such friends. Paul was such a friend. And in his greatest hour of need, just before his death, being in a prison where he was suffering, God sent him such a friend. Now Jesus said, even more so, he who extends mercy will receive mercy. I want you to know that our, watch this, divided and dark world would be much better a place if each of us became people who were a breath of fresh air to each other. Now maybe you ask, and it's an honest question, Keith, how can I do this? I'm so glad you asked today. You see, Jesus is the key. If you will adjust your life to spending time with him every day, and if you will surrender your life to live the Jesus way that you are learning, you will find that your mind and your heart are different. And I believe this with all my heart. You'll become a friend like Jesus to others. And friend, I know it's less today in our broadcast, but it might be more. The world needs more refreshers. In Jesus, I challenge you to become one today. Now, if you've appreciated what you've heard today, I hope that you put it into practice. Also, if you have questions, always just reach out to them at info at jacksonfbc.com. I encourage you to go on our website, jacksonfbc.com, to see all of our different ministries and the opportunities that we have, the times of service, and we have service for every different age group. So I'd love to see you in one of our services. I pray you pray for us. Pray maybe you might give to this ministry. We're just so blessed. God's so good to us. See, Jesus is our friend, and we want to be a friend to you. Until next time, may God richly bless you.